Uh, all right, people, I'm back. I'm back, and I'm alive. I am not dead. Oh my god, it sucks being sick. I hate being sick so much, and I, I was just totally, totally out of it. This hand is terrible. This hand is just straight booty. We're going first. Oh, and we're going against Dark Law that deck too. Well, it should be fun. And by fun, I mean absolutely not fun. <laughs> uh, I don't like this deck. It's literally just. Dark Law, like that's all it is. Dark Law didn't exist, and this deck would be nothing. <laughs> that's that's the interesting thing, though. This deck would be nothing. You know, if Dora never existed as a card, at least my deck would still be something. But their deck would be absolutely nothing without Dark Law. And I used to respect heroes. I never really liked heroes, but I used to respect them. But now it's just like Dark Law. Dark Law, like, I get it, you can go into Dark Law, congratulations, like, you're even doing shit like Goldfish and, sh and, and Goblin Bird just for Dark Law, like, you're not, you're not doing it for fucking, for fucking anything else, but to special summon the Shadow Mist to search for the match chain for Dark Law, not even on Mutual Hero anymore, it's Mass Heroes, Dark Law, Anyway, I am alive, and that is awesome, and I am glad to be back. I'm glad to be producing the content. I'm glad that you guys stuck with me. You know, I actually gained subscribers, interestingly enough. You know, it's weird that I actually gained subscribers. Like, things like people who want to stick around, stick around, and then people just naturally come over, even though they're not getting new content because I'm sick. You know, it's just cool that you guys are still there to support me, and I love you. You guys are the bestest. MST on the end face. You really think it? Oh, that's right. You really think you're gonna get away with that? No, obviously I gotta kill the Dark Wall. See, that Dark Wall is a fucking threat. Like, anybody says that Dark Wall is not a threat. It's a threat. I don't wanna hear it. He's a fucking walking macro. Like, macro's that one. He finishes that one. He's obviously good. Like, if he has anything to do with macro, if anything has anything to do with macro and defense, they're not terrible. You know, even Banisher of the Light and Banisher of the Radiance. That's still fucking good, you know. Just straight up, banish your shit. Like, oh damn. Wow. So just go into motherfucking Utopia and then just end your goddamn turn. Like, that play was bad because you could have gotten damage in, but then it wasn't terrible just because I'm still going to be in some deep shit right now. Utopia is too strong. He is too strong, because now he can freaking block my attack. Like, hell fucking yeah, Utopia is too strong, the gun gun, though. No. Alright, I'm thinking about going ahead and forbidding Chalice, the Dark Law. Then going Pathfinder, Pathfinder, go ahead and give me my Field Spell. Field Spell, activate it. No. <sighs> Damn it. See, the problem is that I don't have the right hand. Yeah, I opened up really bad for the situation. Terribly for the situation that I'm in right now. <sighs> I can't. Even, I can't even. You can tribute this card. Tribute me. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, I don't know what to fucking do. And the Utopia. The Utopia. That is the icing on the fucking cake. Because if Utopia wasn't here, I could just literally just go. Summon Ruffian, Ruffian, attack into Dark Law, limiter removal, and then BAM, you're dead, you know? I might just attempt just to do that. Let's see if he just blocks me with the Utopia or not. No, no, no. I gotta get a paint. Yeah, I get to block with Utopia? Obviously, you're like, oh, you're weaker than him, you know? Oh, then shut up. Okay, that's not that. You're gonna block with fucking Utopia. That's fine. I have all the cards to fuck me up right now. If you tell me all the cards, I'm just gonna summon. Attack, let me remove or attack over the Dark Lock. Get him out of my fucking face. Fuck Dark Lock. But nah, no, <laughs> like Utopia, like, ah, oh, fuck. Why? Uh, Royal? <coughs> you can still hear it, I'm still sick. 
Yeah. Still sick, but I'm better. I'm, I'm at least well enough to go ahead and be able to uh, do the video. So, do you have another Shadow Mist? Oh, man, alright, no, you have the Bubble Man. I forgot about that. Nope, you have, you have the Bubbly. <sighs> yeah, shut up. You're not fucking getting rid of this right on the curry. I want you to use up all your resources. What is the double attack of wall launch you control into the enemy phase during the enemy phase destroy all monsters that were affected by this card? That's okay. See? Dark Law is a problem. He always has been and always will be a problem. He's a good card. You know, I've been out of Yu-Gi-Oh for a while now because I was sick, but I ain't that out of, out of Yu-Gi-Oh. No. It's just hard to, for me to respect the hero deck anymore because it's not even a hero deck. It's literally a Dark World Dot deck. No one will play this deck if it only had at least Acid and, and Unki. Like, no, it's Dark Wall. <laughs> I gave you the Forbidden Chalice, so if you need to go ahead and Forbidden Chalice the Dark Wall and go off with your plays, then go ahead, Tiago. And there's Infinity, good. Infinity, I uh, hear, is just tearing up the OCG. Like, just tearing it up. Very, very powerful card. Like, a card they should have never made, but they decided to make it. It's kind of interesting. I forgot what the other guy was using. Oh, he made the Utopia, so he did go into his performance power. And I'm going to eat the Utopia. And run over the infinity. I mean, not the infinity. Run over the dark wall. Run over the infinity with your infinity. Oh my god, I'm still, still out of it. <laughs> so the hero guy is pretty much out of the duel. But so it's me, me and tackle versus this guy. That I'm getting low on resources, but at least I can push off for a play. Uh, I can go ahead and summon my. Uh, Pathfinder, Pathfinder, go ahead and grab me a Filth Spell, Filth Spell Pitch, just give me a train so I can get set up for my next turn. Yeah. Yeah, I tried, I tried, to, I tried to hold it down, but got fucked up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's my... Are you like? Oh, you're like. Wow, so he actually summoned Destruction Magician. Normal summon did. Like I said, usually he's in a Pendulum Zone, so... Okay. Then you, you neg to go ahead and do that, so... Let's see if you can go ahead and get over the Infinity Zone since it's already used its effect. I'm gonna say 25. It's for Pin Chalice, you'll up to 29. Google Benet will crash, so. Yeah, I guess that was the best choice. Go ahead and just negate him. So this, like, negates the effects, right? Yeah, so if that would've went off, then. If Indy would have dropped back down to its original attack, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this play. Um, I actually do more damage this way. Yeah. So I think this duel might be over. Yeah, I think we would have won because the hero player is out of place, out of resources, so it's literally two on one. Tiago still has resources, I'm about to gain more resources to get myself back into the duel, so...
Yep, so I got a door next turn. I'm pretty okay right now. Yep, there we go. So, I'm right back in the duel. I got this duel right back on track. Okay, stop. No more train puns. No train puns. <laughs> Mr. Hitapo, you got one card. I hope that you got a mass charge. That'd be like the only... Actually, Miracle Fusion wouldn't be terrible. Either way, if it's something so powerful, I'll just probably negate it. So, you're probably screwed. Yeah, but have you top deck a mass charge or a Miracle Fusion? Those two would be nice top decks, right, Jackie? Nope, they just surrender. Alright. Well, we'll go ahead and get another duel in. Be right back. Alright. Get another duel in. Are you recording? Yep. Got to play another upstart. It's Hoganin. Well, I guess I'm not fully Hoganin. Got a lot of things to talk about. A lot, of, a lot of shit happened while I was gone. A lot of shit. Got a ton of cards to review, a ton of things to discuss and talk about. Like, hi. Of course, the couple of weeks that I'm gone, Yu Gi Oh just blows up with a whole bunch of new shit. Like, of course. Shit, even the new Red Eye supporter is even on a DM now, so I guess we'll go ahead and continue working with that when it comes to webcam duels back on DM, because on Dev Pro, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> on Dev Pro, man, they were just killing me. Magical Mellet. Are you using some kind of Exodia deck, or what's up? Wow, she's in your whole hand, okay? Are you using that freaking, uh, and cheating leaf, I can clearly see that. Um, are you using that one, uh, what's it called, the chicken race? God deck? I mean, you're, you're, damn. I mean, you'd be in some deep shit if that's what you're doing, because as soon as you would go, you know, pop up that, that thing to go ahead and equal our life points and then kind of kill us, we just roll out a crease. So, <laughs> so you'd be in some deep shit reasoning. I have no idea, four? We don't know what your deck is. Mmm. 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 Damn. Damn. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's like a Fang deck? Yeah, it's like the, the dragon. Itemius, Fang, Critias. With the mag- oh, oh! Okay, I see what you're doing now. I see what you're doing. I do so ammo. Okay. So why? Oh. Didn't even know that was a card. Damn. Yep, there's Mr. Super Knight. <laughs> yeah. Unaffected by other card effects, this card attacks on the attack during the damage that you have to affect this card attack. When equal to the attack of the monster on the field with the highest attack. This card's destroyed with battle, you just go, wow. That is just flippin' amazing. <laughs> uh, I have no fucking idea how we're gonna beat this thing. <laughs> oh my god, how are we gonna beat this? <laughs> 
someone can tell me how you uh, defeat this fucking monstrosity that you call a fucking knight. Like, that was kind of sacky. I must admit, that, what he did was kind of sacky. His reasoning to this, and then just activate the Legend's Heart, summon these three. Like, Legend's Heart, this card's kind of dumb. This card's kind of busted. You shouldn't be able to do that. Just pay 2,000 to read a warrior type monster. Like, any warrior type monster? That's easy. And then just, bam, summon all of them. Like, alright. It's the banishment with this fucking reasoning combo that he just did. Like, this is gonna be a tough one. Definitely is. Definitely gonna be a tough one. Right now, I have no fucking idea how to deal with this. This card is attack and defense each time equal to the attack of the monster built with the highest attack. So your attack will always be equal to ours. So, but if you crash, that's why you summon the defense, because if you crash, then you summon your knights back. Like, okay. I think I see you. This is gonna be a tough one. God, it's just a fucking monster. I'm like, damn, okay. Straight up, just unaffected. Equal attack. I am not liking what I'm seeing right now. I have no idea how to deal with this thing. Unaffected. By other card effects. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, really? You're, you had... I guess you wanted to go ahead and just get that in the graveyard. I guess you got lucky at the Mystic King. Alright, that too. You couldn't even activate Galaxy Cyclone, so we didn't have any side cards. Wow. I mean, that's a chain reload. Okay, I guess. It seems like this hand is not the most optimal. Instead of letting it fizzle and let it just be destroyed, I'd rather chain it. Like, okay, get a whole new hand, I guess. You didn't need to reload like you usually would, because you didn't activate it. How the fuck are we supposed to deal with this motherfucker? How are we supposed to deal with this motherfucker, motherfucker? Because this is the motherfucker that fucks our mother's motherfucker. What? <laughs> The important thing is that this isn't recorded on Mother's Day. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, less than a month to my birthday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be 21. I'm gonna be an old man. <laughs> Finally be 21. Shit. I'll party it up. I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> so, how are we supposed to deal with this guy? This ultimate super chuckly fudge covering night of fucking destiny. Huh? How, how? How do we deal with this fucker? <sighs> this card is destroyed with battle and center of the bar. Select and destroy one card your opponent controls. This is mandatory, right? Yeah. And is this optional or mandatory? You can special summon. So, mandatory effects go before optional effects. Chain results backwards. So, wouldn't you summon your knights first and then Fortress would destroy one of your knights? Kind of confused on how that's going to work. And then you just contact fusing to him again. And then you just keep doing it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Like, this card would be stupid. This card is stupid, but in a single duel, it's even stupider. 
I don't think that's gonna work, Tiago. It's unaffected, like straight up. This card is unaffected by other card effects. Oh, but it doesn't it just gain the attack of the highest attack? Yeah. So it wouldn't just go up to 3,000? Seriously, I don't think there's a way. Oh, but then Tra Galaxy Eyes Tatian Dragon's gonna go up to 4,000. Ah! <laughs> You're so smart, Tiago. You're so smart. Really? D but didn't it activate? Does it activate? Huh. During the battle phase this turn, each time an opponent's card effect resolves, this card gains a thousand attack. Huh. This card doesn't activate? You can activate this effect, so I don't know why... Maybe because it can't go off during... Maybe because it can't go off during the damage step. Because it seems like this would go off during the damage step. Maybe that's it. Of course, stupid ass Galaxy Cyclone. Insta Fusion for Broken? Oh, you misclicked the Tatiana effect. Of course. There's Broken. I know. I know about him too. Don't worry, I'm gonna talk about him. Uh, broken is Broken. Like... Most people are like, oh, it's not that busted, it's just like a wolf bark. Like, no, 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 it's much more broken than a wolf bark. Much more broken. People don't even understand how broken. Don't even understand how broken. This card should not, Noden should not even exist. That tech game is permanent? I, did, I thought it dropped back down, no, this is permanent. Now it's gonna go up to 4,000. Ah, fuck us in the ass. How the fuck are we supposed to deal with this? Well, I'll draw all my, all my OSTs, that's awesome. Yeah, how the fuck are we supposed to deal with this? <laughs> oh my god. I have no idea. I have no fucking idea. <coughs> Why are you in here? Oh, the machine is. Sorry. No fucking idea. I don't think it's possible to get around this guy. I don't know if a 4,000 monster that's unaffected by card effects. Like, yeah, that's, 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 that's fair. <laughs> oh, we're so fucked. We're so fucked. We're so fucked. Wow, we lost because Tiago misclicked. Yeah, there's there's no way. Unless Tiago can bust out another one of those. Might just go ahead and soul charge and summon a whole bunch of monsters back just to defend. It seems like Tiago might be able. But you would have went up to 4,000 and been able to run him over. Right? Because you can only activate this card. Attacks or attack. Never mind. Never mind. We're fucked. Ah, fuck it. We're getting one more duel. Hopefully we don't go against that again. Holy shit. He got that shit out so easily too. Wow, this hand's bad. Bad. I need my full spell. Or at least... Oh wait, never mind, it's okay. Never mind, I have this. Never mind, it's okay. Cost her a normal summon now. Yay, hey, we're going against powerful ass Telenites. Cause that's what everybody wants to do. I'm like, no. no Telenites are still fucking monsters. Still fucking monsters. Oh, I can go. Pathfinder, get my field spell, activate field spell, pitch, search. I already have a normal summon, so I can special summon, uh... Yep. It'd be the best thing to go ahead and kill the Deneb. And by killing the Deneb, you don't have to worry about the Nova. When you go into, like, main phase 2 and do your plays. 
and then I can summon uh, the Malefic, but then he could easily fuck me up by just simply and phase call the haunted no and phase MST that's even worse. All right. Then he could simply just fuck me up by just going you know. Altair, will tell you, I'll tell you the next search, XC into Castell. Castell, spin back my field spell, and then my fortress will die. Uh, not, not my fortress, my left will die, so. Another fucking reasoning? Why, why, why would you call six? Did you just assume that we'd be facing that again? Like, that was a gimmicky, I think that was a gimmicky one-time thing. I really don't, I seriously doubt we're going to be facing that again. Now, what I do think that we're going to be facing is powerful 86, so... That means that I probably won't be able to play. He could, he could probably bust out four. Why ran you? Bam! Eat a dick. 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 <laughs> Eat the most fundiferous. <laughs> dick. <laughs> Damn. That man ate a frat one. Holy shit. He got fucking wrecked. I'll go ahead and go in the door. Okay, that's all the morning. Hmm? Got that solemn morning? A powerful, powerful solemn morning? With him? No, you don't want something? Thirty-two. Now you're gonna get the thousand blade. You gotta take the thirty-two to face, and now summon thousand blade. Okay. That's fine. Go ahead. I mostly know how and when to handle the situation, to an extent. You know, if he goes Altair, Altair, summon. Benab and then go for Deltaros, then we're gonna be in some deep shit. Uh, excuse me. I think he might do. Cause the Thousand Blade should have not attacked. Yeah. Another Altair. I know, how to fucking play. Are you gonna go into a Delta Rose with all, all these guys? I can get rid of the Delta Rose, but. Okay. Chain something? Chain Nova? Of course. That's awesome.
Uh, this duel is difficult. At least he doesn't have a good thing that ate up that fucking uh, Nova. Now he can go ahead and go into an infinity. I remember him, I probably would have. I, I would have crashed. I would have crashed. There's no, right now in this day, and there's no reason to leave a fucking cyber dragon on the field. Why would you do that? No one has seen this chain, it's totally nice. It says, this duel's gonna be difficult. This is not gonna be easy duel, Tiago. We have that Royal Decree. We have that Royal Decree. This duel will be much easier than the current situation that we're in. But of course, he had the MST. Of course, he had the bottomless. Is I popped the wrong fucking card. Wow, I just love that shit. When I popped the wrong fucking card, I don't get two shits about the skill prisoner, but of course, the bottomless. Like, <sighs> I would have popped the bottom ones. I forgot what the other guy was even using. Something with. Oh, they surrendered. They actually surrendered? Oh my god. I thought that duel was gonna go on for a lot longer. Oh well. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and call it. You know? Uh, I thought that guy. I thought that. I thought that was gonna go on for a lot longer. That duel was difficult. Anyway. I'm glad to be back. Like I said, I'm not 100%, but I am well enough to record the videos. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I, if I haven't seen you in this video, I will see you guys tomorrow, ironically, at Teller Nights. But, um, we're gonna be running fun Teller Nights, like I said. Uh, after the tournament, I pretty much lost all of the Star Sheriffs and pretty much a good chunk of the deck, so I'm just gonna go back to, uh, making a Teller Night deck for fun. I actually got a locals now, so maybe go take my fun deck down there and have fun. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow.